Okay, great. So now that we're done building and tweaking our pages for mobile, it's time to connect them all up with internal links, which are links that go from one page on a domain to a different page on the same domain, so users can navigate the website accordingly. Let's start off on the home page. In the hero section, there's a button that leads to the restaurant's menu page. So let's select it. And in link, delete the hash and start typing the name of the page. You'll see it appear automatically. Simply click it and you're good to go. These internal links will open the pages in the same tab. So there's no need to add any additional settings. Let's move on to the Our Story button. We will set it to scroll down to Our Story section near the bottom of the page. In order to do so, scroll down to the section and click on it to enter its settings. Then in Advanced, give it a CSS ID. It can be any description word you want. Just make sure there aren't any spaces. I've gone with Our Story, which is the same as the button text. Then copy it and scroll back up to the button. In Link, paste the ID after the pound key. And that's all. Now when visitors press the button, they'll be taken to the section automatically. Okay, great. Let's move on to the View Menu button, which will open up the menu page as well. Like before, select it and in Link, delete the hash. Then type the name of the page and select it. Lastly, do the same for the Contact Us button. I'll set it to open up the Contact Us page. Easy. Great, our home page is set up and linked accordingly. Let's update and check it out. Cool, the links work and open in the same tab. Okay, now let's open the finder and go to the menu page to set up the links as well. Here, all we need to do is set the arrow to scroll down to the starter section. So, like we did on the home page, go to the section you want to scroll down to and enter its settings. Then, in advanced, give it a CSS ID. Remember, it can be any description word you want. Just make sure there aren't any spaces. Then copy it and scroll back up to the button. In link, paste the ID after the pound key. And that's all. Let's update and preview. Okay, great. As you can see, adding links is a breeze. Now that we're done, let's quickly recap what we learned today. First, we briefly went over different types of websites and their purpose. We checked out the restaurant site and went over all the pages and their goals and saw how its design helps achieve these goals. We then got our hands dirty and installed the Astra theme to set up our header, nav menu and footer. We created a page and went over Elemental's interface and key features. We then started to build the restaurant site step by step, page by page and made sure that they were optimized for mobile. Lastly, we set up all internal links to turn it into a fully functional website. And that's it. Now you know how to create a professional website from start to finish without touching a single line of code. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide and feel confident in using Elementor to design, build and publish websites for your own business or customers. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.